Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this tutorial, we will understand the basics of MS Office Word. That is Microsoft Office Word. Okay. So, I will try to cover as many things as possible in this video tutorial. So, let me first write my name here. I am using the caps lock to write in capital letters. L-A-L-I-T V-A-S-H-I-S-H-T-H-A. Okay. So this is my name and we will perform many operations, many functions over this uh, Lalit Vasist name and uh, see the basics of uh, MS Office. So what we can do with this Lalit Vasist? We can first of all go to home. Here you can see various uh, options. Uh, here is the home and you can see all these options are under home and insert options and page layout references mailings review and view so these are all uh, topics we will try to cover these maximum of these topics so to perform any operation you need to select it you can use uh, the mouse or uh, shift plus uh, arrow keys to select it and the changes will be seen only on the selected part so i have selected this whole name and now what i can do with this i can change its uh, font style or the theme fonts you can use the arial black you can check it check this menu this okay this one or you can change this to arial narrow okay you can play with this and uh, you can increase the size of this uh, font by this one okay here it is 11 now i want to change it to 36 you can see it has enlarged another option to increase the size is by using these two buttons with this you can use uh, you can increase the size and this is to reduce the size let's see it how it takes place this okay it has become too large now i should reduce it okay so you can use it this one is to bold the letters you can see the Lalit Vasist has become bold bolded this is for italics and this U is for underlining you should also know the short keys this is can be uh, performed with the help of Control plus B also the good thing about this software is that uh, you just uh, hover your pointer over anything and you will see its description its functionality what uh, this performs okay and uh, you if you want to remove these selected items suppose i don't want uh, it to be bold so i will again press this b and uh, one more thing that uh, if i want that this only this versist part should be bold then i will select this part only and will press on b and uh, this to remove i will press this i and to remove it if i want to underline this also then select this part and it will be underlined now we will see how the alignment takes place in uh, ms world let's write few more things to come to next line uh, i press enter and let's write here something let's key answer okay anything now i want to align these left alignment central alignment or the right alignment okay so first of all i need to select it then after selecting i can choose anything it is already uh, left aligned okay so to center align align it i will press on this and for this uh, this is the right alignment you can see and this is the justification means it will be aligned left or right here it is already short line but if you have this to full length then it will change the space between these letters to align it left and right simultaneously okay to perform uh, to undo i need to press ctrl z if you press ctrl z you can undo your operations okay so here we understand the basics now you can change the color let's see how can we do this select the part 
suppose I want to change the color of Lalit only then I will select it and use this one okay this is the drop down menu you can change the color if I want uh, this blue color then you see here it has changed you can also change the size of the selected letter okay now we know the changing of colors and you can also use this text highlight color how this way first of all you need to select the part that you want to highlight and here you go and here you can see this has turned the turned into green so in this way one more thing let's press ctrl z to undo these operations another options uh, another uh, way to undo and redo the things is from here this is for undo okay you can undo this and to redo you click on this okay let's again undo it now we can change the spacing between the lines suppose first of all you need to select these all these lines and uh, after this you press click on this line spacing here I can reduce the spacing here it is 1.15 at this point this is used you can see it has been reduced and uh, you can also increase the size between the lines okay now let's see what is this this is the bullets bullets means this okay you can write uh, anything in points you can use this or uh, we have different types of bullets here you can use ctrl z to undo and ctrl y to redo okay you can also use uh, these numbering also and uh, many other functions here if you want to reduce the size look at this at this point you can uh, click on this uh, zoom out okay and this is for zoom in to increase the size of the page you can also use this function to reduce or increase the size of the page okay now if you want some uh, designs or some uh, ready-made templates for letters you can all you can use them okay now we will see some other functions like uh, these change style you can use these change style various kinds of styles are present here first you need to select change style here set style here is the default black and white style and uh, if you want to change it to distinctive you can change okay we have changed the styles this manuscript and many other things there are various options you can uh, check them at your own and this one is the slider you can uh, scroll down the page using this and this that all I explained you were in the home option and uh, you can use the insert page layout references mailing reviews and views so there are lots of functions it is very difficult to cover all these in one lecture you see here it is the insert here you can use the cover page blank page to create blank page to use the uh, page break and to insert table here i am explaining you the basic points so if you want to insert a table then you can choose just uh, touch your mouse or hover your pointer over this and uh, suppose I want a 3 cross 3 table so this and click on this now so 
you can change the designs of tables here various kinds of designs are present okay and now again go to insert you can insert the pictures all types of insert options are present here you can insert the picture press on this click on this and you can browse any picture that you want to insert in your ms word and clip art various clip arts are present okay my collections offline collections web collections etc and these various shapes you can use any shape that you want this is the rectangle you can fill this change the colors there are many options you can play with this so you can choose any of uh, any kind of shape recently used shapes these this shows the shapes that i have used recently so you can easily access them various kinds of lines basic shapes block arrows flow chart and various other things you can check various shapes smart art you can use various kinds of smart art here so there are various options present you can also make chart if you have uh, some numerical data and you want to create a chart chart can be of different types like line charts pie chart bar chart column chart area kind of and stock surface okay bubble chart radar chart there are so many options you can check them and this is for hyperlinking if you want to create some hyperlinks okay uh, to bookmark cross reference header footer text text box quick parts word art I, uh, here i am just covering the things that uh, is suitable for beginners word art you can write any text here let's see here okay so various beautiful uh, options are available here change see the changes in this we have various options like references mailing options review options and view you can change full screen reading or web layout offline outline and this page layout you can change them we will see uh, other details uh, in next tutorial this was the basic uh, tutorial to explain you the basic things if i want to save this file then go here on this uh, office button it is known as office button and you can either create new page new word page or open uh, any recent that you can see i have these uh, recent documents i can open them and to save i need to click save and what is the difference between save and save as in save as you can save this as either as word document or word template if i want to save it as word document if i will click it click it then it will be saved as a word document and uh, here you name the it as a test okay and you can place it anywhere so let's uh, see i want to place it in my screen uh, recordings okay so now this is the name of the file word file and here is the location and i want to if i want to change the format here are other other options like as a word document a word template xps pdf you can change it from here also i want the word document so i click on save okay so it will be saved here you can see the location in the pc local e drive, local disk e and in the screen recordings folder so it has been saved if you will see then you will see, find it at that place one more thing very interesting that uh, first go to home sorry first go to insert 
and you can see here various equations mathematical equations it can be very helpful for engineers or students of mathematics you can see various advanced this is the basic uh, a area equals to pi r square and various uh, binomial theorems expansion of a sum Fourier series various advanced things you can insert uh, or add your new equations here save selection to equation gallery so there are various uh, things you can check so i think it's enough uh, because it's uh, really difficult or you can say impossible to cover all the things in one lecture so i should end this lecture now so thanks for watching have a nice day and if you have not subscribed my channel then don't forget to subscribe it my channel name is engineering made easy so click on the like button if you liked it and share it with your friends hope you liked it thanks for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye